Hello, welcome. In this video, let us look at the Z transform of an anti causal signal. So, Z transform of an anti causal signal. Anti causal signal that is x of n is defined as it is a possible anti causal signal x of n is defined as minus alpha power n u of minus n minus 1 this is a possible anti causal signal so which is obviously equal to the value 0 for n greater than or equal to 0 and value minus alpha power n for values of n less than 0 so so for this given signal let us look at the z transform that is x of z which is defined as the summation n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x of n z power minus n so by using the definition of x of n we have or this summation becomes summation from n equal to minus infinity to minus 1 minus of alpha power n minus alpha power n multiplied by z power minus n now the summation can be rewritten as minus summation n is equal to minus infinity to minus 1 and now grouping alpha and z we have alpha times z inverse whole power n no now by changing the variable now by changing the variable n to m that is we want to change the variable n to minus m that is we want a new variable m where the relation is n is equal to minus m then the summation that is the summation index becomes m is equal to 1 to infinity that is since n is equal to minus m m becomes 1 to infinity and alpha z inverse becomes and the power of alpha z inverse becomes minus m we also have a minus here now this is equal to minus summation m is equal to 1 to infinity alpha inverse z power by sending this minus 1 into the uh, base we get alpha inverse z whole power m now we need a term for m equal to 0 so we, what we do is we can add and subtract 1 for that purpose so by simply adding and subtracting 1 we can write this summation as 1 minus summation m is equal to 0 to infinity alpha inverse z power m now by applying the concept of geometric series uh, from n equal to 0 to infinity we can write this summation as so it can be written as 1 minus 1 by 1 minus alpha inverse z provided that the absolute value of alpha inverse z that is alpha inverse into z the absolute value is less than 1 that means it's like a geometric series with the parameter alpha inverse z now it will converge as long as this value is less than 1 now that means the roc is given by the absolute value of z is less than the absolute value of alpha or in other words the ROC is the region inside a circle of radius absolute value of alpha therefore therefore the z transform of the anti causal signal is given by x of the anti causal signal minus alpha power n u of minus n minus 1 is given by is given by 1 minus 1 by 1 minus alpha inverse z which becomes upon simplification it becomes minus alpha inverse z by 1 minus alpha inverse z now by multiplying both the numerator and denominator with z inverse alpha we get or minus z inverse alpha both to the numerator and the denominator what we get is 1 by 1 minus z inverse alpha or alpha z inverse therefore the z transform of the anti causal signal minus alpha power n u of minus n minus 1 that is so the z transform of this signal is given by 1 by 1 minus alpha z inverse provided and and of course the roc that is the roc is the absolute value of z is less than absolute value of alpha the roc is a region inside the circle of radius absolute value of alpha thanks for watching